What's up, everybody? It's Patrick with Light Source Engraving. Welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we have this scenario that we have plywood, we have a laser, we don't have time to do any stain work or any crazy finishing jobs on our project, but we need a last minute gift. So in that case, what can we do? Well, we can use our laser to stain our plywood and make it look like it has a coat of stain on it, make it look nice and make it very pretty. So what we're gonna to do today is make this. Here's a nativity scene. It is only finished with a coat of Rust-Oleum triple thick glaze and it could use another coat, but there's one on it just to give you an idea of how you could get something done with the laser and make it look like it is stained and look nice without using any stain at all. And for reference, here's the back side. Then here's the front. So you can see the difference in the color just by using the laser and getting creative with your settings. So, enough of that. Let me show you how I made this. And I'll show you what I did in Lightburn in order to get a negative of the graphic so that I could do that in one shade and then the main graphic in another shade. And then the text is also in a, in a different shade. So um, there's three different settings, three different layers. So let's get into Lightburn. Okay, here at the bottom, you see my finished uh, graphic that I actually engraved on that wood. And above, you'll see what I started with. And I started with this graphic and then the main layer is the black layer, of course. Then I added text and put it on a blue layer. Now, all we need to do to create our negative is, let's just make these all the same layer. So let's make them all orange. And this is really simple. I just drew a rectangle around the graphic in orange came to shape properties and gave it a radius make that whatever you like and immediately we have our negative and then to create the cuts I hit control D on the keyboard and that duplicates that line but then I moved it to the red layer so with that new line is selected hit the red layer and now you can zoom in and see we do have the two different lines there And then we can hide our orange layer. Now we're just working with red. Now let's say we want a couple little hanger holes. So we can adjust that into position and then copy and paste and drag that. It will snap into the corner there and that's it. Now we can group these three. So now we have our cut layer. Then we can go back and show our negative layer. Main thing to remember when you're making a, your negative layer is that you need to make a copy of your main artwork, then make your negative layer from the copy. Otherwise you'll end up destroying your main artwork. So always make a copy and work with your copy. then just like that we are able to use this orange layer to create the stained look and then we can adjust our other layers to create whatever looks we want whether we want to offset fill or fill it in really dark or really light but we have our base canvas color that we'll have in the orange layer and then we can work with the black and blue layers to make them whatever we want now what I ran on this lasermatic with 30 watt module for the orange layer was a speed of 25,000, power of 75, line interval of 0.25. And surprisingly, it only takes about five minutes for this orange layer to run. So we get that orange layer done pretty quick, then we move on to the black layer and the blue layer. The blue is speed of 15,000, power of 70, line interval of 0.1, 
and then I run a line around it at speed of 2000 power of 30. Then the black layer is a speed of 25,000 power of 90, line interval of 0 0.08. And finally, the red cut layer. I noticed uh, I could actually go faster. So with this 30 watt module, that will be at least 500 and power of 100 and one pass around and it takes care of that three millimeter plywood. So let's frame up the job and run it and see how it turns out. Okay, you saw me taking it off laser bed there. Here's what it looks like on camera. So that's fresh off of the laser. That looks really good. Everything's easy to read. I'm happy with that. Okay, now we see the difference between the Rust-Oleum triple thick, which is on the bottom. So there's one coat of triple thick. And then the top is plain. And you can see the Rust-Oleum Triple Thick did darken that up a little bit. So just remember to practice your finish on scrap so you don't have to scrap your finish. It is done and we have a quick little gift. And this looks fine. I would be perfectly happy with this without any kind of clear coat on it. If you were in a hurry, you didn't have anything, this is good enough. It's not just good enough, it looks really good. So that's all you need. That's it, it's time for me to go. So check out my Patreon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And most importantly, have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.